is our little fox. The little brown fox is very silly and cunning. He likes to play tricks on others. This is our stork. Stork is like our grandpa. Very calm, smart and even tempered. Hello friends. We are going to tell you the fox and the stork story. Grab your popcorn. Let's start this show. One fine sunny day, the fox was walking in the jungle and he saw the stork. Hmm, he thought of a plan so he decided to invite the stork to his house. Hi stork. Hello fox. I would like you to come and have dinner with me today. Sure. I am happy to come. I will cook you a nice meal. See you at 7 o'clock, Fox said smiling. The stork gladly accepted the invitation. Fox was very happy. Time passed. It was 7. Stork arrived at Fox's house with a very good appetite. Knock, knock. Hello, Stork. Come in, come in. I am glad you came. Dinner is hot and ready. Now, let's drink this yummy soup. For dinner, the fox served soup. But it was set out in a very shallow plate. Stork has a long beak and he was trying hard to drink from the plate. Poor Stork, he couldn't get a single drop of soup. Stork couldn't eat dinner properly. <laughs> After dinner, they parted. The next fine sunny day, Stork saw the fox. Hello, fox. It's my turn to invite you. I would like you to come and have dinner with me today. Oh, sure. Okay, see you at 7 o'clock. The fox arrived at Stork's place on time with a good appetite. Knock, knock. Come in, come in. Please be seated. What's that smell? It's very mouth-watering. I made some fish for dinner. Oh my God, it smells so good. I can't wait to try. Sure, Fox. Let's have our dinner together. The stork served a fish dinner, but it was served in a tall jar with a very narrow neck. The stork could easily get at the food with his long beak. However, fox's mouth was wide and couldn't fit inside the jar. Fox tried and tried and tried. Smell was amazing and soon the fox lost his temper. How could you do this? I can barely fit my mouth. I want fish. I'm, I am so angry. Do, do not play tricks on others. I hope you learn a lesson. Fox felt very embarrassed and he returned home. So, friends, what did we understand from this story? Treat others like the way you want to be treated. Just like my dad always says. 
and and also um don't trick other people or else they'll trick you and it's not nice